Now in this section, we'll be creating a flat file and using it as a target. So again, we'll go to flat file section and right click and click new. Now here, we'll give name as FF customer dump. And here, as I said, less formatting is required because you can just choose the folder and give any name dump one for example dot txt here again i can keep it as comma or i can change it to various option i have here tab semicolon space or i can give my own so here i will give tilt as a separator do i have to write the row header i will say yes because i want to identify the data and the column that's it you don't have to worry about the fields and everything because now this file can handle all kind of data if there is five columns or ten columns you need not worry about it so let's go and save this okay this save and i can simply drag it here and make it as a target and i can use it here itself from this text table a uh, text file i will get the data and dump it here so simultaneously data will get added into customer table and the file as well so let's run the job job is completed let's go and we have a dump file one file here i will just open it and i can see all the three records are there with the header and with the tilt which i have selected as my separator so this is as simple you can directly create and use it anywhere you want so i will show you the same file you can use in the other data flow we used it here i can use the same file and get this data out so in about data flow i will dump the data into this file make it as target in the same job we are using same ff only change you have to do is give one more name to this so i will give it dump2 name dump2.txt earlier one had dump1 so this is done let's run the job is completed and you have two files here so let's see what we got in dump2 we got 998 records with the header with tilt as a separator and dump1 as we got last time all the three customers so that's how you can use same file as a target and you did not worry about all the columns which it might might have to get mapped to so this is how you use flat file format for target so let's summarize what we learned file format can be used for source or target formatting requirement may differ by usage and multiple files can be loaded into the system so this was all about flat file loading and extracting the data from we'll go further in next lecture thank you